hi guys in this video we're gonna see how can we edit some text like whenever we just click on this part we can see that the same text will be reflected back to this input field and we can edit that part so go to your to do.js so in here in our cursor dot we am going to just use cursor dot pointer in here and now what we need whenever we click on it it will be reflected into this part so yeah so so go to your action. i'm going to create a new action and in here i am going to change it to edit to do and to be a key because we are sending the key we are sending the index really so type to be edit to do and payload i'm going to give the key okay now this is what we need and our at uh, in here what we need we're gonna use a new case that we are going to create this is the edit to do case now in here i'm going to use return dot 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 state so not what we need we need the text right so and this text to be needed from like we need this text many places okay just yeah the text that we need in here and also in here so that's why we are using as it's a globally now in here the text that we need is state dot to do's and state to do's and the accent dot payload that we are giving now that's all what we need but uh, in our input field it have to change like the way that we are uh, changing the text handle change and handle submit handle submit is good but handle change to be changed that we don't need this state now we need this text we need this text that we have made in here so there is no way around so we are changing it so go to your uh, add to do dot action we are going to create a new action again we are going to create export const add text and the value that we are going to give it the same as event dot target dot value and its type you can give add text and payload to be value now go to your attitude dot reducer now in here the case that we need is add text and we're gonna use return and state and the text that we're gonna use so accent dot payload we have made this far now in here we're gonna dispatch new action called add text and we are giving the value and we're gonna dispatch add text and in here the value and also we need this map state to props okay so that we can get the value of uh, the text map state to props state and the value that we get so text and in here state dot text yeah that's all what we need now in here we don't need this part we need we need not this part now what we need in here this dot props dot 
add text d dot target dot value that's what we need we also know not need this we need this dot props dot text uh, we also not need this part because we are going going to change it in the reducer part and we also not need this part we need this dot props text yeah that's basically what we have to do now again in in here to do we're gonna set to nothing so that's why we need this one so now if we just save it all the files and just yeah now if we just use it here working the same way if we delete some part it's going to work in the same way now only one thing to do that this part to be reflected into this and to be editable now go to your this edit to do we have done this part now just to use the action that we're gonna create in our to do dot js yeah now what we need we need this edit to do and we are going to send the key also so dispatch edit okay, we have used it yeah edit to do and the key and in here in the props we get this edit to do and whenever we click on this it's going to dispatch this props means this patch is action so edit to do this key now just save it okay not it's a, not a key it's a index that we have passed in as a props now if we just save it we can see that it's working but uh, as you can see that uh, if we just save it it's not uh, editable at the same place it's actually editing means it's actually rendering again it's actually pushing the text again and again so in the next video we're gonna see how can we tackle this problem so yeah that's all thanks